we are about to do a data quest and then move the data into GeoGebra and do a power regression. So the website where the data was gathered from is the Fish and Wildlife Research Institute and here is the URL. And basically what we've done is gathered uh, the length of various uh, fish and their weight. First thing I'm going to do is change to my spreadsheet view. I've already collected the data and I'm just going to paste it in here to speed things up. You would have to type it in manually. And so in column A we have the length in inches and we have the weight in pounds. Uh, of course, this is a one-dimensional idea to a typical three-dimensional idea. We could do a comparison of the log of the length and the log of the weight to see if that creates a linear function. What we're simply going to do is plot these points and then do a power regression. So I'm going to column C. I'm starting with an equal sign and I'm going to open a parentheses and plot as a point the length, comma, the weight. And so, so that you can see that, there's my formula. And I'm going to basically copy that down to get a series of points. Clicking back in the cell and dragging that down and you'll see that we have our points. Now we can't see them very clearly so let me move the drawing pad and of course they're all being labeled as well here. So this curve indicates it's some type of a uh, power or exponential type function and again uh, we're going to make the assumption it's a power function. So the next thing I'm going to do is go down into my uh, input bar And in my input bar, I'm going to do a cell range. And what I'm going to do is create a list out of that set of points. So pressing function F1 to look at the syntax, my start cell, comma, my end cell must be put in the brackets. And my start cell was C3 for my points and my ending cell was C28. And so there's the input for this particular and what that does is it creates this list of points up top and so now I'm going to uh, search through my commands and in my commands I'm going to find a fit power function and going inside the brackets and looking at the syntax it's simply looking for a list of points so I'm going to say OK and my list of points is called list1 so I'm going to type that in And the first thing you notice is that it plots the function and it also places the function up top. Now what I'm going to do is first of all look at this function a little bit more closely. And one of the things that you'll notice is that uh, if we would have rounded uh, to one or two decimal places we would have a zero in this under the options and under rounding if I push that up to 10 decimal places we get to see a more accurate indication of the power function okay let, again let me zoom in on this and so now we're seeing a more accurate display of the power function